Right, you ready to film this? Yeah. I've got no idea what we're going to talk about. Oh, you can't have a cig on while we do this. All right, get another star. <laughs> get another flipping star, mate. Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel. John here for another impromptu episode of Pistons, the podcast. This has turned into a sort of a tea break, having a chat, doing stuff. It's just, it's just to stop me from getting, to getting my tea on time. <laughs> so Pistons the Podcast has not become a formal thing now. It's become a 20-minute chat during a tea break. Impromptu trot. Uh, how are you? You all right? I'm, I'm excited. Um, before we start, we'll, uh, in true Pistons the Podcast tea break chat style, we'll do Tool of the Week. Tool of the Week. Show us Tool of the Week. Anybody who's been tinkering with cars pre-1990 will know what they are. Uh, for your benefit at home, let's have a better look at Tool of the Week. And if you think you know what Tool of the Week is, comment down below. It's some sort of, I don't know, clip remover in my opinion. You put something in there and either compress it or remove it. It could be a... Anybody pre-1990s car repairing. Mm, I don't know. If you know I'll what that is, have one of them in their toolbox. Will they? Yeah. I haven't got one of these in my toolbox. No. <laughs> uh, comment down below then, what do you reckon Tool of the Week is? Dad will tell us at the end of the podcast. Um, it's been a very busy week, actually. Let's talk first about the MR2 National Day, the Toyota MR2 National Day. Um, this weekend, so the 2nd of June, just gone, was the Toyota MR2 National Day, held at the Coventry, I think it's the Rico Arena, or the Building Society Arena. Should have been at Hatton Country World in Warwickshire. However, we've had biblical rain, haven't we, the past couple of weeks, and it was like a quagmire. Um, <laughs> giggity. Giggity, giggity. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so um, they moved to the car park, car park C of the Coventry Rico Arena, and apparently... It's something different, though, isn't it? It was a fantastic uh, event. I think it's called the, Na the Coventry Building Society or something like oh, that. Oh, right. What is Rico anyway? You know, a camera company. They make oh. um, lenses and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, um, I didn't attend, sadly, due to Mrs. John Cooper not feeling very well on the morning of it, so we didn't go. Obviously, um, family came first, which I was a little bit disappointed about, actually. Wasting my bloody time getting <laughs> that car done. Yeah. So, 40th anniversary of the Toyota MR2 for a start, which is why I wanted to do attend. Obviously, we got the car back on the road and we got it MOT'd. Um, but there's always next time, right? There's always next year. Uh, I think it might have been a tactical manoeuvre from Mrs. John Coupland. I'm not feeling very well. I don't want to go and look at 700 Toyota MR2s in a car park. But it was a good day, and actually we managed to get a lot of... Uh, I managed to get a lot of gardening done instead and get some stuff shunted around. Uh, what else have we been working on this week? The Toyota MR2. We put a new battery in that. That's got a new battery. That orange battery. Oh, yes. Let's talk about that then. The Orange Smart has been... That's the reason I stopped mending cars. The workshop. Things like job, jobs like that. So, would you say you've done the worst job on the Orange Smart this week that we've done so well, far? No, because it worked out all right. It but did, the, but... Was the it other the job was nigh on impossible, wasn't it? Which one was that? If you was going to do it with them parts you supplied. So there's a video coming to the channel, which uh, is coming this Sunday, which is replacing the tailgate hinges on the Orange Smart. Long story short, I did sort of 700 miles in the Orange Smart, commuting to Cambridge and back. And one day I sort of put the tailgate down too hard and pop it out, it came. And when we did the job first and foremost, you said, when we was putting it all back together, oh, I think these are broken, mate. And I went, no, they're fine, that's how it's meant to be. And lo and behold, you were right. I bought a kit off eBay, it was 20 odd quid. And it's basically, what, a metal pin? Some people say they can get that pin out, but it's a metal pin and a bracket, which. But the pin's pressed into a sleeve, in the plastic of the tailgate that you can't get at. Not to give too much away, but a job that I originally thought would take us twenty minutes took us four or five hours, and it wasn't a nice job, was it? And we had a few dramas along the way. I don't want to give too some much away. Some person on the internet had got the solution. Yes, yeah. Um, so the worst job on the Smart Night Orange done, but it's done now. 
Excellent. And we've got a good solution to the problem. Some bolts come out yet? <laughs> We didn't use the kit, let's put it that way. <laughs> that video is coming to the channel. Um, the Audi A4, we've done some work on that last week. We've got that MOT ready. Um, that needed, what did that need? Needed the brakes easing off mm. and a CV boot. Yeah. How did the CV boot go? It's on the interweb, everybody knows, I've seen it. <laughs> but plain, I'm asking you pl how it Plain went. sailing, this is. This is the, I don't know, the debrief of all the work that we've done. De this. Debrief me, mate, it's too cold. <laughs> but you, that went all right, didn't it, that the it work on the A4. Um, we've got some upcoming work to do on that, though. Just talk us through that. Silly windows gone and packed up. So, I came and picked the car up on the Sunday night, ready for the MOT on Monday. And as I left... I heard a clicking noise. You heard a click, 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 click. So you shot round to my house... On your, on your bike, on your push bike, um, turned up at my door and went, I heard a clicking noise. And I said, well, here you go then, take it for a test drive. And what did you find? Nothing. I reckon it was the aircon condenser kicking in. No, no, but the compressor. The compressor. It went click, 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 click. Yeah. Um, it didn't I, just go click. I reckon it was that and it sort of was... It sounded like a CV joint from where I was. It did, and I understand that's why you came round. Maybe it was a CV joint and it was just bedding in. No. Um, anyway, you put the window down, and then what happened? Well, the window won't go back up again. <laughs> a clip on the window regulator broke, a green clip, and it was sheared into, I don't know, 10 pieces, looking at them on the internet. Uh, it's caused some damage to one of the windows, hasn't it, where it's dropped down. It's put two great big deep gouges in that. Um, so that's something we're going to have to fix. I've bought some clips, but the good news is got I've a got donor. a donor car in the yard, which has a perfectly good window. So we're just going to swap the whole unit, right? That's what I think so, yeah. So we're going to be replacing that. Didn't you that. look at that curbside mechanic in Man in America? No. Oh, you to, I've sent you the link. Oh, I haven't had a time. To... Oh, this is the video of, it, of him repairing the... He took the whole thing out and put another one in. So what's the plan with that then? Do what he did. Yeah, just take the whole unit out of the donor car. Fella on the roadside in America can do it. We can do it. What if the donor car is no good? We've what if we it. take it out and it's... It was Rubbish. all right before, wasn't it? Yeah. Would make no difference that it's a 1.8 over a 1.6. It's just going to have the same door. I hope so. We're going to try we anyway. We the part number on the glass and it's the same. We did check the part number, yeah, because they've got funny old tints. Anyway, fingers crossed, touch wood, that goes okay. In, if not, I have looked on eBay and a good window is about 20 quid delivered. Excellent. So we can, we can get that sorted in the worst case scenario. Also, we've bought some parts for the A4. Um, what would you call them? Side the moldings. side mouldings. Tell the us about door mouldings. Yeah. Tell us about what happened. Well, they all do it, don't they? They all just rot to pieces. And you says to me, "Repair that, Dad." And I said, oh, "I'm not repairing that because it's beyond repair." So we finished doing the MOT prep on the Audi A4. We pulled the car in the garage because it was raining, and I said, "Ah, this is uh, flapping about at this end. Can you repair that?" And actually, you found it was held on by Jesus. Uh, it was just hanging there, wasn't it? It was hanging off. So I've bought a new kit. It's coming all the way from Lithuania via Amazon. So we've got seller protection. 60 quid for a set. I think that's a bargain. I think that's a bargain too, God considering... God knows what they'll be like, but... Well, there's on line... I hope they're not like the Rover 75 sill. <laughs> no. Well, if not, I can complain and get the money back, but we'll see how it is. It's um, Amazon, not Timu, you know. Yes, <laughs> don't get me started on Timu. Mum's all over Timu now. Yeah. Uh, she's been harvested, her uh, information is being harvested. I don't know what's going on anyway. Um, so that's something to do. Are you looking forward to that job? No, I can't let you do it. I'll do the tricky bit. Are we going to replace all of them? Well, I think so, yes. Mm. What if we find something really nasty behind them? We'll fix it, right? All right, and just change that one. My concern is... You won't find that nasty if you don't look. They're not bonded to the door, are they? They're just clipped in. Yeah. So, in theory... The, the trouble is, there's that screw at the front. Yeah, but when you look on the picture of the new ones, that screw is useful. It's in the... You use it for the other one. So you have to remove... You have to cut the old one off. No, you, it unscrews, apparently. Yeah. We'll have a look. We'll have a look see at that. solid. Let's... All oh, right, I understand. Well, let's not panic about that. But the fact that it's not bonded to the door 
in theory, there shouldn't be any paintwork that comes off. Well, them. you were surprised, weren't you? I was surprised at how good that one that came off looked, yeah. Um, and why do they rot? So they're just a plastic rubber piece, but they've got metal strips on the yeah, inside. Yeah, like bondy inside it. And it's just blebbed all the plastic. It's just gone. It? It's like rubber. The metal's gone. That's coming to the channel anyway. Um, it's a bit like a rear spat on a blinking... Uh, us doing that. MR2. I'll tell you what I did look at on the Audi A4, just before we move on. The wheel centres. Yes. They really let the car down. When I bought the car, they were all deteriorated. They're sort of like a chrome alloy finisher on the outside. They all It's all bleb, doesn't it? I bought some new ones from our local Audi dealership. They were 80 quid for a set of four. I had a quote recently. They were £108 each. I found a set online. £137 from Lithuania, brand new. That's for a set of four. I'm going to look at my YouTube revenue for this month, and that might be something that I splash out on um, to buy a set of those. But I'm thinking, could we... And after putting it on Twitter as well, so I don't want to take all the credit for this. Could we take the old ones off and maybe grind them back and paint them? You can. <laughs> so that could be a project. Or you could wrap them. It really, um, I think that I think a wrap would look naff. Mm. But before I spend one hundred and thirty-seven pounds, why don't you just get some silver hammer right and, and uh, <laughs> with a brush? Because it already looks terrible, and I think that it really lets the car down. And if we're taking this time and effort to make the car look better, um, those wheel trims I think are necessary. Let me know in the comments below. One hundred and thirty-seven pound. Buy new wheel trims, or. Refurb the old ones. I think refurb the old ones first. Oh, I think that's a good idea because they don't last five minutes anyway, do they? It's no. They're going to stand in your garden, isn't it? The thing is, while I can get a, a set of them, my this is my theory. I buy the set and I keep them on the shelf. Mm. We refurb the old ones, and then should the car go into showing territory, we can then put the good ones on the car. I'm with you. What do you think to that? <laughs> Silence is gone. What gold. does Catherine Tate say? Am I bothered? Am I bothered? Regard a mum But, and I don't want to give too much away about the MOT, it drove lovely, that car. Well, it's a good old car, really. It, uh, it, it, it made me fall back in love with it, the Audi A4, B5. And I'm a big believer in that is... The what last... are you going to do about that bit where Mike dropped his bike on it? I need to get it repaired. I need to get that repaired. Mike dropped his bike oh, on Oh, don't, don't talk to me about that, because that still upsets me. Really, honestly, genuinely upsets me. Um, I was about to go to Australia 2018, picking Mrs John Coupland up from work, and uh, somebody was unhooking their bike from a local railing, and I, as I was coming past, and they... Dropped their bike and the handlebars hit the rear quarter, didn't it? And yeah. gouged it, dinted it. Not a great start to my holiday. Anyway, let's move on from that because that still upsets me. Um, I've had a move around at home. And as you can see, in the garage today is a K11 Micro. But hang on a minute. This is not the K11 Micro that everybody is no. expecting to see on the this channel. This one's not as rotten. <laughs> We haven't got my first car out of the garage yet. Can't Why not? Get it out. Because you've got a trailer stuck one end and an MR2 and 14 cars the other end. Okay. <laughs> All right then. Do you think it's going to be much of a hardship to if get out? If you hadn't got that trailer, it would be easier, wouldn't it? We can move the trailer, you know. Yeah. It's not difficult. I don't know why you bought the blinking trailer. <laughs> <laughs> to do trailer stuff. Yeah. If anyone wants a single axle... Uh, what is it? Not I it for Williams one. trailer. No, I'm not selling your trailer. I'm selling the box trailer. You can't sell it. Yeah, who you cares? You've made an agreement. Yeah, Mum uses it for her art exhibition. Made an agreement, pal. Um, so it's got all Mum's art exhibition stuff in. That was the worst business deal you've ever come up with. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting for the art exhibitions hey. to finish. You'll be very then I've good. got a trailer. You'll be very good selling lifetime mortgages, won't you? <laughs> hey. <laughs> We'll uh, lend you the money for 45 years and then you ain't got to pay us it back. Look, let's not panic about trailers. If I need to do trailer stuff, I can do, can't I? Um, mm. The secondary inspector is settling in well, for those of you that are wanting to know about Penny. She's okay. She's settling in. She's had a bath. She's had a brush. 
Her and Crystal are getting on really well. What else do we need to talk about? What else has gone on? Well, let's talk, let, now let's talk about the micro. Yeah, let's so, talk about this thing. This is my 2001 K11 Micra. You hadn't seen this car until... I've seen these with O2 plates on, haven't they? Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, I think O2 was the last of the K11. Must have been. And then... Or my, 52. 52 when was I was the looking in my books, it was made from up till O1. Yeah. But then, obviously, people that had them left over registered. Yeah, and turned them into these. I think 2003 was the beginning of the K12, the frog shape, wasn't it? Yeah, my book um, says 2012. 2002. 2002, yeah. Yeah, not 2012. Yeah, yeah, K12. Anyway, we've digressed. You haven't seen this car until today. No. We've done a video on the channel, which is your first reaction. Mm -hmm. Are we you keeping you awake? Yeah, you are. Four o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, it's getting ready for me to have a share and get me tea and go to bed. To be fair, we've been working quite hard all day. I was in Asda at Women Quarter to Six this morning. <laughs> Were the toilets working? I don't know. I didn't bother. I didn't, <laughs> didn't need them. What did you get from Asda? I got muesli. Yeah. I got protein bars. Yeah. I got eggs. Mm -hmm. 60 eggs. 60? 60 eggs. 60 eggs? The protein bars. No wonder got, no one can get any eggs. Some cereals. And I've got some, that was it really. Been to the gym today? Oh yeah, I went to the gym after that. <laughs> after I'd been to the shopping, did me shopping. Um, anyway. Then I came home and waited for you to get your ass into gear. Stop and bring talking nonsense. Let's talk K11 Micro. Yeah. Which is, you hadn't seen this car until today. I bought it last year. What do you reckon? It's gorgeous. There is a video coming to the channel. I, I genuinely think this car belongs in a museum. Uh, it's covered 23,000 miles from new. It is nearly perfect, isn't it? it? It will be by the time we've finished. We are doing a pre-MOT check on it today. Uh, video is coming to the channel. Dad's first reaction, sort of giving it away. Um, what have we done today on the, on the micro? Checking it. Checking it's, it. It's and, okay though, isn't it? Yeah, just checking it. And it's like a new car, really, isn't it? We've... Or the, this car has never failed an MOT in its life. It's never had an advisory on an MOT in its life. It's brand new underneath, really. Mm. Brand new, as in it's got its original springs. It does wear its original tyres. Um, you can see I've been washing the wheel trims in the sink. So these ain't hieroglyphics, mate. They've got cave paintings on the top. <laughs> We've just been spraying... Any pictures of this antelope thing with a man with a club. <laughs> <laughs> and a K11 micro and a spanner. Oh. Um, I love my K11 micros, and this is one I've decided I'm going to keep. Good car. It is a good car. What, you know, for the sake of 1,800 quid, it's a brand new car, isn't it? Um, it's excellent. It really is. It needs bit of a spit and polish but it will be staying in the collection I've decided Ooh, anyway right. then we're going to get the red micro out but more videos coming to the channel then dad's first reaction MOT uh, no, we've got another this. micro to sort first MOT day what do you mean got another micro to sort first the auto china yeah. blue mm. I reckon that's going to need a little bit more fettling than this in that it needs the brake I think the brakes are a bit sticky uh, so they might need looking at. But we've got a window on a uh, Audi to we'll do. We talked about that. Yeah. We've got loads to do. We ain't got, we ain't got time to rest, mate. Yeah. This is my week off. I'm going back to work for a rest. Yeah. And, and then we're going to get the red mic around, yeah. Yeah. Coming to the channel, something quite exciting. If it's absolutely posh rotten, we'll put it back in the shed. That's what we'll do. If it's absolutely posh rotten, I think we get rid of it. Good thinking, Batman. As nostalgic as it would be, I think we strip it for spares and we get rid of it. We, we give it to Banger Boys to race. Or oh, you could sell it. But I, the spares are more important to me on that. Uh. On this. For this, with us. Lights, grills. Le grill? Le grill. Anyway, important things I need to tell you about. Yeah, um, do you remember when we went to the garden centre on the smart car test drive and we saw a Tivoli? Oh, or yes. A Tivoli. The team at Drayton Motors in Boston have reached out to us and basically said, put your money where your mouth is, boys. Um, they're going to give us a car to test drive, which is the KGM Tivoli. A bit different to the channel. You're not overly excited about yeah. it. Uh, you, you prefer working on 
the old classics. It might just be me and Mrs. John Copeland taking yeah. a Tivoli for a test That's drive. That's a good idea. But I might bring it round and see what you think to it. Yeah. Um, but new cars, I suppose, coming it to the channel. It sounds like something from Switzerland, doesn't it? Tivoli. Yeah. It sounds to me like a. Is it an, an Italian dish? No, it sounds to me like it's a Bavarian dance. I, do, I don't know... <laughs> what you do with your lane rows and on. I don't know what a Tivoli is. I've never... It must be, it must be electric. I will find out tomorrow, because I'm heading down there to Excellent. have a look at it. I'll bring it round for you to have a look at, and you I'm can come for a test drive. By the time you come in, I'll just remember to be out. <laughs> <laughs> but the team at Drayton Motors in Boston Good have said, John, you can have a look at this if you want. And they've said we can have a look at other cars in the KGM and Suzuki range. So fair play to them. Um, we might be bringing some brand new cars to the channel. KGM cars coming to the channel, which I think is quite nice. There's not many people out there KGM who are... Cars. What are they? Um, well, it's, I think it's Korean group oh, motors yeah. or something like that. Basically, Sangyongs. Oh, Stay yeah. with it, because when I hear of the Sangyong, I think of the Sangyong Rexton and the Sangyong... What's the one with all the big wind... The really horrible-looking thing? Musso. No, no, that's a pickup. No, Musso. I can remember a Musso was a... I brought one home once. It was like a four-wheel drive thing. Mm. A bit like if you'd got... What's the big old-fashioned Nissan four-wheel drive? Navara? No, four-wheel drive... Pathfinder. No. I said to get my book now. Get your book, get your Nissan book. Tell us, let's go through the... But basically, um, we're going to be testing some new cars. It might, not, it might not work, right? It might not be something that you guys, as the viewers, enjoy. It might not be something that Dad wants to take the direction of the channel in. But if you don't try it, you don't know. Um... This is my Nissan look. Oh, what are you looking at now, then? I'm looking at Nissans. Yeah, Navara. No, there's something else. Pathfinder. No, there's little than the Pathfinder. X-Trail. No, it was in between. Murano. Do, do, do. We'll have to tell... This is all about Nissans. You talk to the talk people. Talk amongst yourselves. No, you talk to the people, so I'm going to look in my book. Anyway, so those are coming yeah. to the channel. What else have I got to tell you? Ah, I don't... Go on, then. Toronto. Oh. Yeah. Oh, right. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen... A Toronto. I've probably is, seen one, but... A Toronto is like... Sort of a... So, hang on a minute. Why did you bring a Sangyong Musso home? Because it was as cheap as chips. And it was like driving a Massey Ferguson with a roof. What, you bought it? No, I just brought it home to have a ride in it. Oh, right, I and see. And then I realised how... It was a Massey Ferguson. You didn't like it? It was more agricultural than a Massey Ferguson. Really. I think they are an entry-level budget car, right? The Sangyongs and the Great Walls and KGM and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah, they've come a long way, though, uh, haven't they? In them days, I'm talking... But that's what I was about I'm to say. I'm talking blooming 25 years ago. Yeah, but like Hyundai and Kia... Yeah. In oh, the cool mid along. '80s and '90s, I think they have had a total revolution, haven't yeah. they? So, Everything's come on, hasn't it? Anyway, we will find out when I take one. None for of this a stuff's test absolute drive. trash anymore, is it? What car-wise? Yeah, what I'm saying is stuff that, that. I'm just trying to think of something that I think actually that is abysmal. I think one of the last abysmal cars probably was a Nissan Pixo or something like that. Yeah, that's not fair, that isn't. Why? Because it wasn't really a Nissan. It's <laughs> so a Suzuki Mar Alto, isn't it? No, it was a Maruti. A what? A Maruti. Oh, that's a, is that Indian? A yeah, Maruti. Well, yeah. Good. So that's all coming to the channel. Lots of other stuff still to come. Yeah. What else do I need to tell you? Uh, tell me what you like, mate. Festival of the Unexceptional, 2024. It's uh, the 10th anniversary of the Festival of the Unexceptional. Yeah. Uh, we've been invited back with oh. the Proton Black Knight. Will you be attending? Did you know that the uh, model variant number of a Nissan Pixo is a UA0? I do now. <laughs> <laughs> will you be coming with the Black Knight? 09 to 13. Or will you be bringing a K11 Micro? Well, we need some sort of jeopardy, don't we? <laughs> Will we be attending? We're going to be attending. There's no jeopardy but there. But what sort of car are we taking? What could we take? Rover 75. Uh, talking about Rover 75s, we need to replace a sill. Yeah. We'll do that. I'll do that in between. In, in your lunch break. Well, yeah. 
Anything else you got to tell us? <laughs> Anything else going on? It's not the cars that make me swear, it's the trash that he says. No, we've been really busy this week. Yeah. Uh, and we've had, you know... So look at your hands. Well, I, that's, not, that's not fair, because I've been inside and cleaned my hands whilst I've done these. In fact, they're still semi-wet. <laughs> I don't know. What's left to do on the Nissan this afternoon? You've got to get that moss from under them wheel arches. Yeah, moss in wheel arches. That's got to come out, and then we're done and dusted. The wheels will be lovely and dry by then, and we can pop them on, and you can take it for an MOT. Yeah. Thanks to everybody who has supported the channel recently. Uh, lots of donations this month. Thank you very much, genuinely. We're not here to be a charity, but all the money that we... Um, we make from the channel, revenue-wise, we're really transparent about. It comes back into the channel, keeps the fleet on the road. And people <laughs> like yourselves who send super likes and uh, donations... You can put a battery on this. Yeah, it's very much well received. So thank you. Um, thanks to all subscribers. We've had an extra sort of 200 subscribers in the past couple of weeks. That's good, mate. Um, which is good news. And we've got loads of things coming up to look forward to. Work on the micro then. Rustival 2 ice cream. It's a bit wet for an ice cream. I think there's some little boys up the road will have an ice cream. And, um, and work on the Audi A4. If you've enjoyed the video, thumbs up, please. If you uh, haven't already commented down below, let us know what you want to see. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. It helps tell the good people on YouTube that you like watching it. Before we finish then, tell us about Tool of the Week. Well, what is it? Everybody will know. I don't know. I've got no blooming I'm idea. Nobody. Is it? I tell you what, is it for taking a valve out of a... Nissan Toronto. No, it's not. It's for anything. It's for the wiring harnesses. Oh. Um, well, all I know it from is British Leyland. So your Morris Minor on the end of a wiring harness is a little bullet connector. And you put your little bullet connector in that gap there with a wire sticking out here. And that's the thing that it fits into, which is a rubber like thing a with a metal of sleeve. Tubing. Yeah. And then it pushes it in. Ah, okay. And you squeeze them together. For like so crimping the wires together. No, it pushes it inside that metal sleeve. Yeah, okay. metal, I understand, so. and that metal conducts the electricity, and that's yeah. how it works. So right. these little bullets that fit on the end, that goes on there with your harness, and you squeeze them together. But so what would you class that as, then? Wiring harness adapter, crimper, wire crimp, and pusher. It just up. pushes them in. But, you know, Armstrong Siddeley's got them on. The end of a wire has got yeah. a little metal bullet on it. Yeah. And rather than, if you can't push it in there and you're But what's the technical it, term for that? It's a thing for putting them in. <laughs> if you said it's a thing for putting them in, uh, congratulations, you are a legend. If anybody that's been doing old British cars will know that. Pre-1990s, Morris Miners, Minis, stuff like that. Good stuff. Till next time, have a great day, whatever you're getting up to. Thanks for watching. See ya. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what the f term wonder what the, the act You don't even know what it is. You've got tool of the week and you don't even know what it is. Oh, I know what it's for. I know how to use it. <laughs> If you've enjoyed this video, I've selected a few more specially for you on this page. Click either side to select them now. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button to always stay up to date with the channel.